The Sagama region holds both populous and strategic importance, playing a crucial role in President Bhutto's presidential victory despite retired President Uhuru Kenyatta having backed ex-Prime Minister Rayla Odinga. For the first time, President Bhutto will have access to the Sagana State Lodge, a venue that was previously crucial in President Uhuru's political maneuvers against him ahead of the 2022 general elections. In an effort to move beyond the past and forge a new path, President Bhutto has scheduled a mega prayer and Thanksgiving service at the Sagana State Lodge on Sunday. It was at this very venue on February 23, 2022, that President Uhuru officially endorsed Rayla Odinga after hosting at least three meetings at the Sagana State Lodge. During these gatherings, President Uhuru passionately advocated for Rayla's candidacy, urging his supporters to back the ex-Prime Minister as the best fit not just for the Mount Kenya region, but for the entire country. Despite President Uhuru's high-profile strategy meetings and endorsement of Rayla Odinga before the 2022 general elections, his efforts to rally the region behind Rayla fell short and his deputy route to emerge victorious. Apart from launching multiple development projects during his five-day tour, the president's trip holds significant political symbolism as observers will closely monitor the president's messaging during the tour, particularly since Deputy President Rigathi Kachegwa, the region's prominent political leader, had opposed the sanctioned talks with the opposition.